Hi guys, I know it's been a super long time since y'all seen me, but I was celebrating my birthday and you know how we like to do and celebrate all month long. But now that it is a new month, it's time for me to get back on track and get back into the swing of things. So today being October the 1st, I've been doing nothing but liquid all day long. I've been drinking my detox waters, which I've showed you all before, and I'm currently about to make me some juice. Um, on Saturday, me and the family, we went apple picking, and I got some really, really nice apples. I don't remember all the different kinds, but I have a ton of apples that I'm ready to juice. Today, I'll be doing this one that is apple, carrot, ginger, and lemon, okay? Um, I've already washed the fruit, but I'm going to peel it a little um, just to get that outside layer off before I um, go ahead and put it into the juicer. So, on Saturday, that was my first time doing the apple picking. And it was really a fun experience. Um, like I said, we took the whole family out. The kids really enjoyed their style. Um, and I was just surprised because we always go to the farm where you just buy the stuff. And, you know, we can see the animals and we, you know, do the little hay maze and pick pumpkins and all of that. But this time, it was literally just a farm. You literally go there to pick. So, it was very different for us. But, again, like I said, we loved it. Um, just going up and down the various aisles and seeing the different kinds of um, apples that they had to offer. And just being out in nature. So, I definitely think that'll be something that we do again. I'm kind of upset that I missed um, peach season, uh, but I guess we'll catch that the next time. I'm going to rinse my apple again. For this, I'm going to... I can't find my big knife that I normally use. The kitchen ate it, I think. So with the apple, I cut it in half. I like to take the core out. You don't have to. My um, my juicer does have a, a big uh, mouth that I could just drop it straight in. But I prefer to do it this way. And with the apple, I do just leave the skin on, wash it and leave the skin on. Um, the carrot, I just cut it into smaller pieces. This one's a little fat, so I might cut that again. And again, the juicer could handle it whole, but um, I had caught a deal on Amazon. Y'all know me and my deals. So I'm a little scared, even though it say it can. I don't want to take no chances. And then I don't have my juicer. Because I had caught a real good deal, y'all. Um, it was on sale. Then Amazon had a coupon. I caught a good one. All right, so that's one apple. I think I'm going to do two carrots. Um... And I probably should be doing this away from me. Don't um, don't do it towards yourselves, guys. Okay. Well, just to take off some of that outside skin. Not necessary, but this is the end of a bag that I've had for a while, so I'm trying to use every little scrap. All right. So we have two carrots. One large apple. I'll probably use about, maybe about an inch of um, ginger root. Again, this is some ginger that I've had sitting for a while as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and peel the outside of that oil. I need to take a trip to Aldi. I need so much stuff. I don't know why I really wasn't prepared. So, I said that for the month of October. I guess I'm going to get back into the swing of things. I have to start eating right again, and I'm going to um, get back into my workout routine because I had done so well with losing weight, and then my birthday came, and ooh, child, I act like I um, forgot that I had a goal, and little uh, did I know, I looked up, and I was looking at 10, 15 pounds heavier. My clothes was fitting different. I was like, yeah, nah, this ain't gonna work. So, I have, um, like I said, decided that I'm gonna start with a nice little juice cleanse. I've been doing my detox waters, I'll be juicing. Um, 
and I would do um, one meal for dinner. Um, that'll be a uh, most likely a lean protein with a green vegetable. Um, you don't have to peel the lemon, but it can be kind of bitter. So I'm trying to take some of it off. I probably should have peeled it before I cut it in half because now it was a little bit harder to do. But the lemon can be a little bit better when you leave the skin on. Mm. I learned that lesson the hard way. I'm glad I just heard the air fryer go off. Y'all know me and my air fryer. I, um, I am preparing my dinner. So I have some um, salmon in the air fryer and I have some green beans on the... I ain't going to put this lemon no more because I'm just making a mess. And I have some green beans on the stove that I am um, steaming. So, that'll be my dinner. But breakfast, I just had my detox water. I did have some um, some fresh fruit as a snack. Um, I'm going to drink my, my juice for lunch. And then my salmon and green beans for dinner. But I'll be eating like that. Uh... For a while now, <laughs> at least the first week, it'll be um, one meal a day, and then I'll, you know, slowly increase back as I, you know, get myself back into the swing of things, because I have fallen off so bad that I have to retrain myself. Um, what else? Oh, and then my workout routine. So, um, with my accountability group, I started this thing called 10 for 10. So, it's 10 different exercises. I'm just getting the juice, guys. It's 10 different exercises that we'll do um, for 10 counts each. And we'll do um, that whole workout for three reps. Um, I did it last night as like a preview to show my group how it's done. And Jesus, that thing took the breath out of me, okay? I'm adjust this a little bit so y'all can see me while I'm moving. Um... It took the wind out of me. Like, when I say I could not breathe, I could not breathe. Yo, I ain't think it's through thoroughly. Somebody that took my extension cord to plug up the dead little juice, so. Hold tight. I'll be back. All right. I'm back. I got everything all set up. The juicer, um, is ready to go. Um, it's bad because I have not juiced in so long. I'm trying to remember. Do I even know how to use the dead one thing? This is bad, y'all. But, yeah, so the same thing. I did it that one time, and when I tell you it took the breath out of me, I could not breathe. So that's how you know I didn't got out of shape. Like I'm trying to go, my clothes fit different. I like, just exercise. I should not have been tired like that. So it's important for me to do this cleanse and flush out all the bad stuff because I've been snacking, I've been drinking. It's been bad. So this is about to be a little bit loud. It's not too too loud, but it's about to be a little loud. So I'm gonna be quiet for a second while I get this done. Okay. Not too late. So I like to start with the ginger first because the ginger is kind of hard to press, and that way when I put in the other stuff behind it, it will um it'll push it out. All right, so you see how nothing is coming down with it just doing the ginger, but then when I go and put in this nice juicy apple. Then you're gonna start seeing the liquids flow. So that's gonna help push it out. I like to let it sit so it can get a nice little gush at the end. And I just alternate how I put the stuff in. It's no um, method to it, it's just what I like to do. You hear the mm. This ought to be so good, y'all. But yeah, that's my only recommendation. Make sure that the, um, you put your ginger in first because you'll need, um, the juice from the other side to push the ginger out. Otherwise, you won't get it. And ginger is very, very beneficial to a healthy diet. So satisfying to see that crunch. Can drop a few pounds because I'm just not happy with how fast I started gaining my weight back. And then, um, 
Like I said, I will slowly increase my um, my meals so that um, I'm not just doing the one meal per day. But I've done this before. It's, it's nothing to me. It's just the fact that I've been picking out for a whole 30 days. Now it's like, ugh, you want me to do what? And I get so tempted, especially like when I give the daycare kids their snacks and stuff. I want it to. <laughs> I really do. Okay, so. Woo! I'm a, yo, yo, remember them turkey wings. I don't know why I be losing on myself. And there's still some more stuff that's squeezing out from the bulk that's in there. But for the most part, out of that, um, one apple, two carrots, one lemon. I got what is, uh, whatever 200 milliliters is equivalent to. Oh, here's some more coming down. But um, I'm going to pour it into another cup so I can know the exact uh, amount that was juiced. But um, there are my mason jars. anything else will come out of it. to add maybe another apple. Those are going to give me the most juice. And depending on the taste, I might want to juice another apple. And those apples, fresh from the orchard, when I tell you they were good, they were so good. So good. That's it. Oh, it's good. It's really good. You get the little spice in the ginger. I taste the lemon. It's not better than that. The apple definitely balances it out. I don't even really get the crab tea. So that's that's not a bad one at all. So that is my juice. I think I maybe I might squeeze another apple just so I can get a whole 16 ounces. So that um, you know, since this is my lunch. But all in all, that's me juicing. Y'all have a great day and um give this a try. Let me know what you think.